Hi there, this is Gordon. I'm um, going to try to show you how to set up Google Voice and uh, Gmail to be able to forward um, voicemails to a virtual assistant. So first we start off in our Google Voice account and um, if you don't have a Google Voice account or Gmail, of course obviously you'll need to have those and they should be connected. Um, there are lots of other tutorials about this on YouTube, so I would just suggest you look that up. But so we're in Google Voice to start with, and just go over to the settings tab over here, and then go to your settings. Um, I've got mine set up so that it just forwards to my cell phone number. Uh, then you want to go into your voicemail and text, and um, you can set up um, your your voicemail uh, greeting and all here and it'll walk you through that pretty easily but what uh, I'm going to focus on here is just going to your email your voice notifications here and then go to your email and I've got it set up to uh, send to my work email and make sure that that is checked um, and then down here you want to make sure your transcribed voicemails that just makes it easier for the voice virtual assistant to kind of see it and also that it goes um, a Google the Google Voice does a pretty good job of transcribing and then this uh, allow automated Google systems to analyze your voicemail um, just helps with the quality and then you want to save changes um, next then you go into your Gmail account and I had a test message here so I'm going to click on that this is just my inbox I'm going to test, uh, check, uh, click on the Google Voice. Uh, well, let me go back here. One step before that is to go into your settings on uh, your Gmail and make sure, and then go to forwarding, and then just make sure that you've got this uh, forwarding set up to the person that you're, is your virtual assistant. And... Um, you might have to add their email if it's not there. If you've never used forwarding yet for uh, your Gmail, there will be out here a little blue, um, or add, you'll, you'll click here on add a forwarding address. And so once you start adding forwarding addresses, they will come up in this, uh, in this uh, drop down here. And then you want, um, and then I also have it to save a copy for me uh, in my inbox and that way I just know what's coming in and and what calls are coming in. Um, then you save changes and then go back into that again and then what you want to do is disable that and that way you're not that way um, it's not uh, doing that for all your emails and so now we'll go in back into our inbox save the fork disable forwarding and then we go back into our in inbox okay now we're going to set up a filter that shows how to um, and I'm going to show you how to set up the filter so that your voicemails all of your voicemails and just the voicemails go to your virtual assistant so I'm going to click on more and then go down here to filter messages like these and it's already got the the email from Google, Vo uh, Google Voice and it's just as you can see a no reply then you want to create a filter with this search and then you go to forward to and I've got my virtual assistants uh, email in there and then I also like to add a label so I've got a, a label that's just Gordon's voicemail and I climb that and then you create the filter and um, sometimes it might take a while for this to set up but once this is set up you're pretty well done and um, that's it I would suggest maybe doing a test of all of this by calling your voice your Google voice number and uh, making sure everything kinda works seamlessly but hopefully this will work well for you thanks